Today I'm reviewing and testing the Aris Motor LED headlight. This is a newer company on the market, but my tests show that it is taking things seriously. Let me show you. Hello everyone and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision. This is the Aris Motor LED headlight. Aris Motor only makes one model of LED headlight so far that I could find, but the specs seemed intriguing and sometimes I like to check out products by new companies to see how they do. Sometimes that can be a gamble and that's why I made this channel, so you don't have to take those gambles. We will see if that gamble pays off. Now like all my LED headlight videos, I'm going to do an introduction and unboxing, go over the published specs, cover some of the features, and then I'm going to test the brightness and light pattern for both projector and reflector housings to see how it performs, so let's get into it. Quick two-page manual, nothing that you probably don't need. It's as simple as removing the factory bulb and replacing it with this one. And here it is. Let's talk about the published specifications. 60 watch each, 10,000 lumens each, color temperature of 6500K, it has a CSP chip, an IP rating of 68, and a standard hour rating of 50,000. It does indeed have an adjustable collar, and it is fan-cooled, does have an external driver, has a warranty of two years, and the price at the time of this video before discounts is $49.99 a pair. So let's talk about the observations. First of all, kind of a cool box for what it's worth. I really like the mascot. The rest of it, it was no frills, you know. There's, there's no fluff, just a little two-page manual that came with it, and then the two lights. Nothing extra that you don't need, and sometimes that's all right. Overall, craftsmanship feels pretty good on par with a $50 light. I do like that this has a really strong grate behind it. You're not going to accidentally push the fan in when you are uh, installing it. Take a look at how the collar locks in. It's pretty secure. I can get it back in there. There we go. Overall, it feels pretty decently constructed. Looks to have a pretty thin core. I do like that it has braided cord. The uh, driver is nothing really special. Just a standard driver box, no big deal. But overall, feels decent quality for $50. So I suppose now is the time to test the light output and see how this unknown light did. Here's how I test LED headlights on car light reviews. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hot spot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. Be sure to check the description of this video for important notes on aiming headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs like this one. And also, if you want to support this channel, I do have a Patreon page that helps me continue sourcing LED lights for me to test for you. So now, let's see how the Aris Motor LED headlight did. Well, my gamble on this light paid off. This thing is very, very bright. 1,602 lux, which is 877 over the halogen 725 lux. That makes this light the third in terms of brightness for the lights I've tested so far for projector testings, just behind the Bevency V45 and the Oxido Q16. And after 27 minutes, it retains 85% of that light output, a tiny bit better than the Bevency V45, resulting in 1,362 lux, which is 637 over halogen. Let's take a look at the projector light pattern compared to stock. For as bright as what this is, it has a pretty sharp cutoff. The rest of the light output area is pretty typical for my projector output tests. This does a pretty decent job at controlling light with the projector. 
Now, let's take a look at the reflector. 2,860 lux. 1,950 over the halogen 910 lux. For a reflector, it puts the light forth in terms of brightness that I've tested so far. Once again, behind the Bevency V45 and the Oxido Q16, as well as the GTR Ultra 2, which does very, very good in the reflector test. After 27 minutes, it keeps that 85% of that light output, making it 2,432 lux, which is 1,522 over stock. And looking at the reflector light pattern compared to stock, it does pretty well. We do have some slight fuzziness here, here, and here, but it's not too bad. And of course, we've got this normal little spot right here that comes up in my testing all the time. But overall, the Aris motor does a decent job in the reflector as well as controlling the high light output. Better than I expected. As mentioned, there is a published rating of 60 watts per light, but I only observed 40, so I think that 60 watts might be a misprint. For heat management, after 27 minutes, my laser thermometer recorded an average amount of heat coming off the main unit at 132 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the driver is an anomaly. I measured it at 109 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the lowest I've measured for an external driver version in my testing so far. This is impressive because, again, referencing the brightest light I've tested so far, the Bevin CV45, the main unit on that is 138 degrees after 27 minutes, and the driver on that one measured a very hot 172 degrees. So this driver does a very good job at keeping the main unit really bright, but keeping the heat at a minimum. Now, I did notice that it did fit slightly loose in my test housing, so if you have a housing that currently doesn't let the bulb seat snugly, you might need to source a different gasket. Perhaps the factory halogen gasket will fit on this. You may need to try it. To see the reviews and tests of the lights that I've mentioned, like the Bevency or the Oxido and the GTR Ultra 2, just see my other videos on this channel. And you can also find a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows the specs and results of all the lights I've tested, so you can compare this light to the others in one easy view. This light might be made by a relatively unknown company, at least compared to some of the big names, but it does hold its own in terms of performance. If your light housings can handle a high output light, but you also want good heat management despite the high output, this could be a solid choice, especially considering that it handles the focus pretty well. The links to where you can get the Aris Motor LED light are in the description. And let's talk about price for a minute. It's listed uh, for $49.99, and that's before discounts. As I make this video, there is a current instant coupon on Amazon, so you can get this light for far less than $40 a pair, which might make it the best light output per dollar light I've tested so far. And that says a lot. And if the coupon on Amazon is no longer an option, and if I have any coupon codes that I can offer for this light, I'll include them below in the description, so be sure to check that out. Once again, I've got a Patreon page, so if you found this video helpful, valuable, or entertaining, Please check it out and learn how you can support this channel and help me make more videos for it. And if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment. I'll definitely check into it. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.